Well, to talk about this further, I'm joined by Tim Durrant, who is Associate Director at the Institute for Government Think Tank. Uh, good afternoon to you, Tim. I wonder if we can just wind back a little bit here and just get you to explain what has happened and what is the issue. So the way that the Commons kind of polices the behaviour of its members is there is an independent commissioner. Um, she's not a, not a member of parliament. She, uh, her job is to look at uh, the code of conduct that MPs are supposed to abide by. And if she believes that an MP has broken that code, or if someone makes a complaint about an MP, she can investigate that. In this case, she investigated Owen Patterson, who used to be a government minister, still a Conservative MP, and found that he had broken the code in various ways. She then wrote a report for the Committee on Standards, which is a committee made up of MPs and non-MP members. And they looked at her report, and they spoke to Mr Patterson as well, and found that he had indeed... Uh, their, their judgment was that he had indeed broken the code and they recommended that he be suspended from the Commons for 30 days. And the vote today was initially going to be sort of up around that report and agreeing with that recommendation. But what the, the Conservative Party have done and the government is, is supporting that is introduced an amendment so that rather than um, Owen Patterson being suspended, the Com Commons will set up a new committee to look at this whole process of how standards are enforced and decide whether or not that a different arrangement needs to be brought in so that there can be uh, different ways of MPs who are accused of breaking the code to put forward their case. But what do they say is wrong with the present system? So their view is that the, this phrase natural justice has been used quite a lot, that the current arrangement didn't permit natural justice. And I think what they mean by that, as we heard the PM talking about just then, is around uh, a right of appeal, that once uh, the commissioner has made her investigation and delivered her findings, there's no formal next stage of appeal for MPs. Obviously, this isn't a judicial process. It's not a legal process. It is one set up by the Commons. And in this case, with a serious set of um, allegations against Owen Patterson, the, the committee looks into it in detail. So there are, there are multiple stages to this, um, but there is nothing that is formally called an appeal stage. I mean, it is politically tricky for the government, uh, given that this move to reform coincides with this uh, accusation and finding against uh, one of their own. Absolutely. So Number 10 said earlier that this isn't about one case, uh, but the fact that they've kind of swung in behind this, this amendment um, suggests that you know, they do want to deal with it now in the context of this one case. So I think that does raise questions about, well, is it seriously about improving the system or is it about supporting a, a conservative backbencher? The other important piece of context is earlier this week, the Independent Committee on Standards and Public Life, which is an advisory body of the government, published a report looking at how standards across public life in general, so parliament and government, are enforced. And one of the main themes in their report was about the need for greater independence of the regulators and watchdogs and, and people and commissioners who enforce and uphold standards. And actually, I think this debate is showing, you know, even, even where there is, in, in, in theory, there is a, uh, an independent commissioner, actually, the government still has a lot of control and a lot of ability to change the system if it delivers answers that they don't like. And just briefly, Tim, MPs are about to debate then uh, the, um, the motion and the amendment and uh, we'll get a result this afternoon. Yeah, so the, the result will come in later this afternoon. The government is, we understand, is whipping its MPs to support the amendment, i.e. to overturn uh, Owen Patterson's suspension, which therefore we expect will pass. So the question then is, what does this new committee that is expected to be set up by the amendment, what do they think the alternative arrangements for a standards process will be? And I believe they said that they'll be reporting in the new year. So this is going to run on for a few months yet. OK, really interesting. Thank you so much. That's Tim Durrant uh, from the Institute for Government Think Tank. Thank you.